Joined by William Mary, head coach Tony Shaver to his left are Omar Pruitt and David Cohn. We'll start with a comment from Coach Shaver on the game and then uh, raise your hand and we'll get your questions. Coach? Well, I mean, it took a, it took a really good team playing at a special level to beat us tonight. Uh, they were really good. That's all I can tell you. Their shooting was phenomenal tonight. Uh, we weren't as good as we can be, but we were really good tonight. I thought our effort was really good for 40 minutes. We just couldn't stop them. We just couldn't stop them. Uh, we played man. We played two different zones. We trapped ball screens, and, uh, you know, just the, the shooting was incredible. Omar, is there ever a feeling when every single time you go down and put a basket in and it looks like you're going to cut it down to eight, you're going to be able to cut it down, they just respond right away? Is there ever a feeling at some point as everything's going back and forth that, you know, Gosh, are we ever going to be able to get them down below that? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, they were hitting tough shots all night. Um, when they're hitting those tough shots, they're a really good offensive team. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it felt a little hopeless there towards the end. Go ahead, John. Coach, I know you guys, both teams like to get up and down. But it's, it didn't seem like they wanted to push the tempo a little bit more than, than in those first two games. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they both... All three games have been pretty fast-paced. Uh, you know, I thought, uh, you know, we had 12 turnovers tonight, we, you know, which is not a terrible number against a pressing team like that, but every time we turned it over, it was a basket. That was the hard part for us tonight. Uh, we, uh, just, we just weren't good enough defensively to find a way to stop them. You know, a lot, of, a lot of key moments in a game like that, but I thought, you know, we came out and played a little bit of that extended 1-3-1 in the second half, which really bothered them. And, uh, Shot clock was down to one. Ingram had to shoot it from about 80 feet, and, and he made it. You know, that was a, that was a, that was a heartbreaking play for our kids. Uh, and uh, it's the kind of night he had. Uh, um, so we kept battling. You know, we kept cutting to the seven, uh, six range. Uh, we couldn't quite get it below that. David, throughout the second half, at points, you guys didn't let it get away. You know, UNCW at times can take these games to 20, 30-point leads. I guess as they're making everything, what's the thought process to just try to keep up with them and keep it within that 8 to 10 range? <clears throat> well, I think uh, Omar and Daniel did a good job of making sure that we stayed together as a group. Um, Coach Shaver, every time I was, hey, stay positive and uh, let's keep chipping away. Let's win these next four minutes. And I think the leadership of Omar and Daniel um, really helped us, you know, keep our minds right throughout, throughout the course of the second half. I guess, Coach, just kind of a similar question, but when they're going so well, it just feels at times like you got to make a shot every single time you're going down there just to keep up with them, right? Is that kind of? Puts a lot of pressure on you offensively. Uh, you know, the, the, the one thing about our club, I, I like this club. I mean, what a great year they had. Uh, what a great senior class I want to come back and talk about. But, you know, we, we haven't been good enough defensively with any consistency to really stop people night after night after night. And, uh, um, you know, that certainly was the case tonight. We just couldn't get the stops when we needed it. Omar, there was a stretch there that David was, felt like he could hit anything from anywhere in the gym. He had 12 straight points for you guys and kind of kept you within range in that first half. How big was he when everybody else kind of went cold there? Um, obviously, he's a very big part of our team. Um, he usually doesn't take on the role of scoring, um, but no one else was hitting, and I think he definitely took it on his shoulders to do that for us, and he definitely kept us in the game. Uh, for sure. So, but he's very capable of doing that every single night. Um, so uh, he's a good player. Coach, when he steps up and puts up the points, I think he finished with 18, and you get 15 from Nathan Knight on off the bench there. To see other guys stepping up, especially if Daniel wasn't having his best night, what was that like watching that happen when you needed it to? Especially, well, it was a good thing. I think when we've been really good, we've been balanced. When we when we're not as good, we rely too much on Daniel and Omar. And and you know they they need sometimes they need to carry the pace for us a little bit. But you know David is capable of that. Uh, you know, frankly, I'd like to see a little bit more of it this year. He was a little reluctant to shoot the ball and and just be a distributor at times, but. You know, with our, our loss of Omar and Daniel, and, and uh, David's going to have to step up in, in a little bit more of a scoring role for us next year. Very capable, though. What did UNCW do that kind of kept Daniel from ever getting into a rhythm at points tonight? What, what did you see from your end? Well, they didn't leave him much, that's for sure. You know, if we had a ball screen and roll where normally their guy would help, they didn't really leave Daniel on the perimeter. So, you know, tried to limit his shots. 
uh, you know, Daniel had a tough weekend shooting the ball. You know, I think he was uh, two for 13 for the weekend. You know, and the, the win was because of how Wilmington played. But, you know, in, in Daniel's defense a little bit, he, he fought the flu all week, had 102-degree fever as late as Wednesday, and just obviously didn't have his legs under him. You know, I think he, he tried really hard, but, you know, he just was a little winded at times. But, uh, you know, give them credit for their performance. Uh, I, you know, again, that's not an excuse. But it's just a fact for Daniel, you know, the way it finished for him. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, obviously, not necessarily the way you wanted to go out, but to look back at the season you had, the seasons you had here at William Mary, I guess, to be knowing that you're either this is it or you might play another postseason game. What's the emotions like for you right now? Um, you know, I left William Mary with a great bunch of guys, and uh, you know. Yeah, I didn't make it to the NCAA tournament. That's obviously my ultimate goal, but uh, I'm going to have these guys uh, with me forever, um, past guys uh, and future guys to come. So, you know, that's really what I'm taking away from William Mary. I know you wanted to talk about your seniors here. They stepped up for you yesterday. Omar has another great one today. Just to play your last, maybe your last game ever, but if you play those seasons, what would yeah, you like to have? Yeah, them? I'm not sure people realize how good they've been, you know, at times. And, uh, you know, I hope we don't realize that next year, you know, when we're – playing without them, but, uh, you know, Chris Sears gave me a few stats, but, you know, and I, and I was so proud of Michael Schlotman tonight, too. We talk a lot about Daniel and Omar, but, you know, Mike, who's had a tough career because of a, a really key injury, kept battling and doing it the right way, right down to the very end. Great, great minutes for us tonight. Um, Omar and Daniel have been incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible, versatile players, uh, great young guys. Uh, they're, the, they're the winningest class in William and Mary history. Um, they've They've had three 20-win seasons and a 17-win season. Uh, in their four CA tournaments, they've been to two finals and two semifinals. Um, they, they've had 43 CA wins, which is the most in William & Mary history, and, and also uh, six tournament wins, which is more than any active CAA player. So what they've done is really special. I mean, I, I want us all to realize that. It didn't end the way we wanted. Um, Disappointed in that for our team and for them, but you know what great careers they've had. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys.